1978 The Amazing Spider-Man TV Series, starring Nicholas Hammond as Spider-Man. Season 1 Episode 3, The Curse of Rava. In the Bolt Museum, Trina is walking the hallways, when we hear voices talking about the idol of Rava and the curse that accompanies it. The voices are of the museum curator and Mandak, a Rava religious leader. Mandak started to chant the idol's name, and it begins to rattle, this scares the museum curator. Trina saw what has transpired. Suddenly, a sword flew out of a glass case and crashes near the curator. The men then saw Trina, Mandak seems to know who she is. Mandak decides to leave. Outside the museum people are picketing the return of Rava to the nation of Kalistan. Peter Parker arrives taking photos of the situation. He introduced himself as the Daily Bugle's photographer to the guard, who guides him into view the exhibit. Peter then takes photographs of Rava. Mandak returned to the museum with a couple of his followers. Peter meets Trina, he learned that she is an assistant curator helping with the Rava exhibit. Peter senses danger. The protest outside started to heat up, and the protesters tried to force themselves in the museum. Mandak is behind the incident. Peter has changed into Spider-Man to help with the situation. Spider-Man placed himself between the protesters and the museum. He did his best to discourage entry to the museum. Mandak has telepathic powers and plans to cause an accident. Spider-Man was able to save the guard from a falling stone piece. Other guards came out of the building to help up their comrade. Spider-Man flees the scene. Mandak upset that his plans are foiled. Captain Barbear is in the scene investigating the incident. Daily Bugle editor J. Jonah Jameson also arrived, he is involved with the Rava exhibit. The museum curator suggests to close the exhibit but Jameson does not agree. Peter then saw Mandak, sensing that the man was up to no good. He took a picture of Mandak, to further investigate later. At the Daily Bugle, Peter is showing Jameson photos he took of the rally. Jameson who is part of the board for the museum, is not happy with the photos as it will give negative publicity to their exhibits. Jameson decides to buy the photos from Peter, so that no one can print them. Rita releases the payment, she was amused that Peter managed to get a payment from the stingy editor. Jameson was called by the curator to the museum. The curator expresses his fear of Rava's curse. While they were talking, Mandak was observing them. Mandak made it appear that Rava was moving some museum pieces. These scared both men, finally the idol fell down on the curator injuring him. Moments later Captain Barber arrived interviewing Jameson. The editor relayed his experience to the police captain. Barber find the story hard to believe. The captain then interviewed the guard and Trina if they have an idea on what's happening. Captain Barber said that Jameson is a suspect and had to be brought to the precinct. Jameson is in jail. Peter arrived trying to help his editor. Peter has slyly convinced the captain to release Jameson by saying that the bugle was doing a flattering article on Barber.
Ritu arrived to pick up the editor from the precinct. Peter met up with Trina trying to do his own investigation, he was curious about the idol Rava. He learned from Trina that the nation of Kalistan was previously ruled by the priests of Rava. Returning the idol to the nation will cause civil war as the cult of Rava will try to regain control. Thank you for helping Geekwatch reach 100 subscribers. It would be our pleasure if you continue the journey with us, as we aim for our next milestone, 500 subscribers. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up like, ring the notification bell, write your thoughts in our comment section and please share the video for others to join our watch. When we reach 500 subs, two lucky geek watchers will get a chance to win these superhero Funko Bops.